Should you move to Seattle during this pandemic? Hey you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl michelle here and i'm back at it again with another video now if this is your first time ever being on my channel and seeing this face then welcome my name is michelle and i make fashion beauty and lifestyle content and i am a creative based out of seattle washington if this is the first time ever seen my face then welcome to my channel um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hopefully you can join the family and be part of the gang if you're already part of the family and part of the shell squad then welcome back you guys I'm so happy you're here tapping into another video with your girl you know I'm back at it again you know I'm back at it again with what so you guys in today's video I want to pick up with my Seattle series um, it's something that I've kind of been leaving you know kind of on the back burner but to be honest it is something that I truly want to pick up and do my own thing with um it's something I created and started and it's something that I want to continue because we're not about to have anyone stealing ideas out here so I definitely want to go ahead and continue with this series um if you haven't seen my first two videos of my Seattle series I think I probably have like three videos but two like official Seattle series videos one was the top three things or top couple of things you should know before moving to Seattle and the other one was making friends in Seattle and I think another one I have is if the Seattle yeah the making friends in Seattle about the Seattle freeze and then I actually have a third one um, that's pretty much like my update after living in Seattle for about a year for today's video I have a little wine okay I hope you guys don't mind we're grown out here and it's the pandemic it's a panoramic and you know sometimes we just gotta de-stress so I have a little Moscato because that's my thing I hope I'm not looking ashy so I'm gonna be right back 2,000 years later it's the winter time going into springtime so you know how that can get for us sometimes. So let's go ahead and take a toast to our first drink. So you guys, since I've started my series, I've actually started to see a lot more, um, you know, black people uh, on YouTube speaking about Seattle, which is amazing. It's great. I love that. Um, I want more representation um, when it comes to Seattle, especially as a person of color. I think it's very important because it is a question that a lot of people have heard great things about Seattle and a lot of people um, have been offered job opportunities to come work and live in Seattle, but don't know too much about Seattle or they're, if they're a person of color, they may wonder, is there other minorities in Seattle? I'm just here to get my experience. Um, and again, when it comes to this series, I just want to reiterate it because sometimes I, I think it just gets misconstrued. Okay, this is my personal opinions. This is my personal experience. Again, I am not trying to talk down on Seattle. To be honest, I really do like Seattle. Um, so I'm not here trying to talk down of it, but I am here to be real and give my realistic and my truth of you know living in seattle and if that offends anyone then i'm sorry but that is my truth i know that's right <laughs> i think these videos may just be quick for now and if you guys want longer videos then you guys need to prompt me on more things to discuss um but today's video is just going to be should you move to seattle during quarantine i mean because i think as things are starting to become a little bit more open, we're still forgetting that we are in a pandemic. Panoramic, it's a pandemic, um, but we are very much so still in a pandemic. People are still being affected by all of this. So it's just some things just to be, you know, aware of and, you know, just keep in the back of your mind. Should you move to Seattle during this pandemic? I think I cannot make that that answer for you it really just depends um on the factors that's going on with your living situation with your work situation all of that um, but i could tell you some things that i think so when it comes to thinking about moving to seattle during this pandemic um is it a good choice 
Well, it really just depends. Um, if you're moving for work, I think it depends. Are you moving because you have a job in Seattle or eventually you will be working from Seattle? Are you currently working remote or are you going into the office or going into your work Force. So I think that's one of the main things to consider. You guys know for me, I'm pharmacy, so I go into work. So it's not like I have that um, opportunity to work from home and live wherever I want. If you're working completely remote, then I think you need to factor in, you know, expenses. Do you have a place to stay if you move to Seattle? Um, or is your current situation a little bit more cheaper and affordable than living in Seattle? I've met people from my videos that um, one girl in particular, she was planning on moving to Seattle and then like we were discussing, wanted to like meet up and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden the pandemic happened, okay? The panoramic happened and it just really shifted things for her and you know we still check in with each other here here and there because it's like girl are you still coming out here um but luckily she's able to work remotely and i think it's a good choice to be able to save money until you are ready to move to seattle if you're not completely ready to move as far as it goes for expenses um and you're currently in a good living situation that doesn't require you to actually be in the state I mean, for me, that's easy. Me, I'm a money girl, so it's easy to really think. I like to really plan my moves before I make any big decision like that. So for me, I would prefer to live where I'm currently living if that's a different state, save up more money if I don't have to be in Seattle remote remotely, and then move. But then there's a flip side of things. Um, I've noticed, I mean, I'm not in real estate or anything, but what I've noticed because I am currently still just looking at apartments, um, I do plan on moving eventually. I am in a studio. I am in a, a high efficiency studio or whatever it is. Um, but eventually I do plan on moving. So I've just kind of been keeping my eye on um, apartments and what I would want for myself and seeing what the prices have been looking like it really just depends if you want to go ahead and take advantage of it because prices of properties have been dropping because we're in a pandemic so I've seen a lot of prices even the place that I'm currently living at seen the prices uh, to rent at least out these apartments like drop these studios drop and it's like that all all across the board from what I've really seen um, and it makes me a little upset because it's like, I want to move now. I want to take advantage of those prices, lock in those prices right now. Um, but who's to know what our new normal is going to look like? Who's to know when these prices are going to go up? I mean, I do look at it as an economy type of thing where when things get moving again, those prices are going to go up again. So if you want to move into an apartment right now while the prices are still cheap, then baby. lock it in if you feel like you want to lock it in while prices are currently like deflated oh why not i think there's just so many factors um if you're moving here you don't know anyone at all and you're working remotely i mean i'm not saying like you can't meet anybody i'm not here to be that person be like oh my gosh you can't meet anyone in seattle that is not what i'm saying listen to me baby what i am saying is that it is hard i already discussed how hard it was before outside was closed now outside is semi-closed i mean we're in like i don't even know what phase we're in but we're not like completely closed but we're not open so um you can meet people i mean online if you think that's safe if you want to meet them outside in a public domain like the park I think there's a lot of things that you need to think about if you want to move to Seattle during the pandemic. I mean, I've seen a lot of people move. I have even seen people consider possibly moving out of Seattle because it's like they can work remotely and they don't really need to be here. It really just depends. Me personally, I would want to take advantage of moving during the pandemic because I just have that natural instinct and thought that prices are going to go back up. And any real estate agents that, you know, work for work in Seattle, please comment down below and let me know what you guys think. If it's a smart idea for people to be moving um, during the pandemic or if they should just wait things out. Um, because to me, it just seems like 
a good idea but again if you're already in a good situation where you're paying way less then why move to seattle if you're working remote and you're gonna be paying way more it just doesn't make sense to me but yeah i mean comment down below if you moved to seattle during this pandemic and how it's been going for you because i really want to know how it's been going for you guys and like how has it been like did you move here knowing anybody or did you move here not knowing anybody and how has that been like going throughout the city trying to meet people or what's your experience been because i really am very curious and i could comment down and let you know how things have been for me but yeah that's it for today's video like i said very short and simple should you move to seattle during a pandemic Again, I can't tell you that answer, but I can tell you what I do think. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Um, comment down below what type of Seattle videos you want me to discuss. Eventually, I am going to be doing a lot more um, renting type of videos and showing you guys apartments. So I'm really excited for that. But yeah, other than that, I'll see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to tell your mama, your auntie, your brother, your brother's girlfriend, and your grandma to join my family. And until the next one, peace.